Yeah, uh, yeah, loving family. You were you're a twin, but your mum didn't know. Yeah, you were. Oh yeah. The, when I was born, uh, nobody knew that there were no echoscopia uh, instruments, mechanisms, devices. It was all not there. So they uh, <clears throat> did not detect another one when my twin brother uh, was born. Uh, he was the child to be born, and the rest was contractions after. And it was not. It was another child. And then they hurried me, because it was almost too late, uh, to the operation room. And uh, just before entering into the operation room, my mother, who was a pious mother, uh, naive but very strong in her convictions and her beliefs, and she said, oh God, let this child live. I will make him a missionary. That's what she said in all her agony in the pain because they were going to cut into her uh, to get me out. And uh, that fear and that belief pushed me out before I entered into the operation room in the cold of the hall, suffocated almost, purple. And then those words, they must have tattooed upon that little nothing that came out. And it made me different of my twin brother, identical, but I was always seeking for something different, different, always different. And when I was 12, uh, I was into psychology, Hinduism, Buddhism, esoteric disciplines, yoga, and in those times that was all unknown. Why is that? Because I had a drive I did not know about within myself, but it, it, it colored my life. It's, it, it was there and I had to live, I had to go for it. And it took me five years from 12 to 19, uh, 17 when I found cold water in attraction. I was debating and philosophizing again within myself like I always did. I was a big debater when I was 15, 16, 17. A lot I did. And uh, then I found this attraction to the cold water that day in winter. And then uh, entering into the water in a Sunday morning, uh, I felt this is it. There is not words, but this is it is a feeling. It's like tilt, it's electrified, something like that. And I felt powerful playing with the eyes around me and I felt no pain. That was connection. And that connection brought me back the other day and it gave me a rush every day, every day since. And very soon I began to find out that deep breathing impacts that, that I, it made me able to stay longer in the freezing water. I did that for 25 times every time. And then I became very electrified, carbon dioxide fully out. With the cold, you really go deep. And I could stay for five to seven minutes yeah. every day uh, under the ice. Was that your like, getaway, Wim? To oh, take yeah. To another sure. place? How, was your, how did treat, people treat you at schooling when you were learning uh, yoga and oh, meditation yeah. and breathing? But you no, built- I, w- I always have been, a, 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 you know, they call it a black sheep. Mm-hmm. I've been always the black sheep. Now I'm the whitest sheep ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> now I can uh, show that everybody, hey man, where that guy began, who was different than anybody else. And now he is, ab- uh, he is able to change science as a dropout from school. But it all began when uh, I was young. I, was, I always felt different and timid, like within myself, and being pushed therein. And uh, in my family, which was poor, like mining, uh, my father was a miner, and then he became invalid because of hernias. He could not work anymore. Uh, so the money was even smaller. And then nine children, that is classic disaster if you don't rule well over that but that's my mother my mother was the greatest uh thing is when you have a little money and you are different then you have no way to express yourself you don't know what's happening but the trauma of my birth had made my stigma my chains within 
my psyche was different and I did not know how to connect or have control over that. I didn't know uh, what happened uh, at the time of my birth. My mother later told me everything. But when you begin to do differently things because you feel so, then everybody begins to stigmatize you and say, I, uh, he is doing strange things. He's, uh, he's no good to don't uh, mingle with him. Uh, just keep him outside and all. That, that becomes a real force because you feel like alone. Alone or crazy. Alone. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, um, uh, but I went on anyway. And when I was 17, I lived in Amsterdam in a squatting place. I had no money. Squatting place, uh, no money, just for gas and uh, electricity, like 100 euro, uh, less than uh, 50 euros a month. I had no uh, wages, no money. I got money there, money there, money there, a little bit here, and working there, things like that. And But a very happy place. Why? Because it was a building, a squatting place with free thinkers, people who are not into careers and all that. No, they settle there in the, uh, and being together, much more together. The world out there is too individualized, competing, 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 following protocol, for following a, a set of regulations instead of living. But uh, there I was, 17, found myself into the water uh, that Sunday morning, and I felt connection, deep connection. And that deep connection made me go since then, and that is... 44 years ago, when I started with my uh, ice bathing, going into the cold, finding a deep connection with the physiology in the depth, uh, 44 years ago, and that uh, since then, uh, I did it every day. Uh, like this morning, I was 20 minutes here in the, in the barrel. Uh, it's full of ice. Uh, I got a freezer, I may chop the ice, get it in, mingle it, it's a soup. And then it becomes really cold. I go in 20 minutes. I love it. Uh, I, I, I did it. Then I felt this is it. Began to develop very soon. I developed breathing exercises because for the first time you feel the need to breathe deep. When you go into uh, cold water, it is <gasps> that. That is logical. But we in society, we live shallow in a shallow breathing. Because there is no need, there is no uh, uh, forces, environmental stress coming to you. So you learn to just breathe uh, shallow. And that creates a lot of uh, disconnection of the deeper physiology, which is logical. If you don't feed uh, yourself in the depth, then it's not fat. Then it doesn't grow. That is connection. It's all neurology in the end and the hormonal system. Now we know, but before I did not know. I was driven through my trauma from my birth. And then I got connection. And then, of course, everybody was saying, that man is crazy. He is going into freezing water in the winter. And he is walking out for hours outside barefoot in the snow. He's doing all kinds of exercises. He is crazy. This is not normal. Uh, he must be uh, uh, out of his mind and all that, but I just felt good. So whenever you feel good, it's like when you love somebody, even if the whole family, Romeo and Juliet, are against each other, making war, they still want to be together. Yeah, I think that's.